Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is microwave transistor and varactor diode. We'll discuss the construction working principle of both the devices that is microwave transistor and varactor diode. First, let us talk about the microwave transistor. This diagram shows constructional details of a microwave transistor. An important advantage of microwave transistor over the microwave tubes is that in case of microwave tubes, there is an effect of lead inductance because the leads are having longer length compared to the microwave transistors. Whereas in case of microwave transistors, the leads are short. So this effect is minimized as compared to the microwave tubes. Now, as shown in this diagram, N plus substrate material is used above which one layer is epitaxially grown. This is N type epitaxial layer which acts as a collector. Above this one more layer is there that is called P type base layer. Now as shown in this diagram one oxide layer is used for isolation purpose and in this oxide layer the different base and emitter contacts are made. So there are alternate base and emitter uh, strips. This micro transistor typically provides 5 watt at 3 gigahertz frequency and typical value of gain is 15 dB. This structure makes use of double diffused epitaxial layers. So there are, as I said, there are large number of uh, emitter and base uh, strips. Initially, we know that in case of transistor, there are uh, three terminals, collector, base and emitter. So initially, emitter base junction as well as collector base junction are reverse bashed. This RB means reverse bashed. Whenever the micro signal is applied, then uh, it is applied between emitter and base. Then this junction becomes forward bash during the positive half cycle of the signal. Now there are different modes of operation of this micro transistor. First is forward active mode, which is also called a normal mode. In this case, base emitter junction is forward bass. FB means forward bass. And base collector region is reverse bass. RB means reverse bass. Second region is saturation region. In this region, both the junctions are forward bass. Third is reverse active region. So it is opposite to that of forward active region. In this case, base emitter is reverse bass and base collector is forward bias. Now, these two diagrams, first diagram shows input characteristics, second diagram shows output characteristic. So input characteristic is a graph of base current versus VBE. So as VBE increases, the base current exponentially increases. I have drawn a load line, the point at which the load line intersects this uh, input characteristics, input graph, I mean graph of IV versus VBE, this point is called Q point. Next is the graph of output characteristics. It is graph of IC, collector current versus VCE. Three graphs are drawn for different values of IB, that is IB1, IB2 and IB3. After a particular value of VCE, the collector current does not increase, it remains constant. So this is about the construction and uh, working details of microwave transistor. The next device is Varactor Diode. From the exam point of view, you may expect the short note related to Varactor Diode or you may expect the question like this. Explain the principle of operation of a Varactor Diode and list out its application. So we will discuss the principle of operation of the Varactor Diode first. This is the symbol of Varactor Diode. What's the meaning of Varactor Diode? As the name indicates, it is variable reactance diode. That means the reactance of the structure is varying, is changing. This is the constructional details. It is same as the PN junction diode, but it is reverse bashed. Look at the diagram. This is negative terminal of uh, voltage source. This is positive terminal. So positive terminal is applied to N side. Negative terminal is applied to P aside so this structure this diode is reverse bias we know that whenever reverse bias is applied then in case of a diode depletion region is formed as you go on increasing this reverse bias width of depletion region goes on increasing so between p and n region at the junction the depletion region is formed because of this applied reverse bias this is the symbol of vector diode 
instead in case of normal diode we know that the symbol is like this so this is the symbol of normal diode here one more vertical line is used so this is the symbol of reactor diode sometimes the symbol is like this this arrow indicates that the reactance is variable so it is called variable reactance diode variable reactance device now the capacitance is varied in a non linear manner because as you go on changing this voltage which is applied as a reverse bias voltage the capacitance of this structure goes on changing how this capacitance is formed this is a depletion region which is created between p and n side we know that a capacitor in in a simplified language is a device which consists of two plates in between the two plates if certain dielectric material is present the structure acts as a capacitor so two conducting plates are there between them some dielectric medium is used that structure acts as a capacitor so this is acting as a capacitor to which we have applied uh, some we have connected some reverse bias voltage v now as you go on increasing this voltage v the width of depletion region goes on increasing the capacitor is inversely proportional to the width so as you go on increasing the reverse bias voltage width goes on increasing and capacitor will goes on decreasing so by changing this reverse bias we can vary you can change the value of capacitance but in this case the capacitance is varied changed in a non linear manner this is given by the formula cj j stands for junction so junction capacitance is proportional to v rev that is applied uh, reverse voltage raised to minus n this parameter n decides the type of a junction used if in case reverse bias is kept constant then value of capacitance will not be changed it will, it is kept constant so in that case it gives fixed value of junction capacitance which is denoted by c0 there is one important parameter related to this reactor diode that is sensitivity it is given by 1 upon m plus 2 where n is the parameter which decides the doping profile there are different cases if m is 0 look at this equation of sensitivity when m is 0 value of sensitivity is 1/2 this gives abrupt junction if m is equals to 1 again 1 upon 1 plus 2 that is 1 by 3 so s becomes sensitivity becomes 1 by 3 it gives one sided linearly graded junction if n value of m is negative let us say m is equals to minus 1 then this becomes 1 upon minus 1 plus 2 that is 1 upon 1 that is 1 so in that case it is called hyper abrupt junction and it gives maximum value of sensitivity now this is the equivalent circuit of the reactor diode rs is the series resistance rp is the parallel capacitance cj is the junction capacitance as you go on increasing the reverse bias voltage value of cj junction capacitance and parallel resistor goes on reducing but value of series resistance goes on increasing the quality factor q of the device is given by the formula square root of rp upon 4 rs where we discussed rp is parallel resistor rl is resistor connected in series now about the applications there are many applications as per as this reactor diode is used so first is it is used for harmonic generation second voltage variable tuning in case of a tuning uh, when you want to adjust a particular frequency then variation in the capacitance is required so it can be used as a voltage variable tuning device then mixing and detection of micro signals then it is used in active filters then it is used in modulation of micro signals and it can be also used in a parametric amplifier that we are going to study in detail so this is about the uh, construction working and applications of the reactor diode so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video